Stick man is lonely. Stick man is lost. Stick man is frozen and covered in frost. Stick man is weary. His eyes start to close. He stretches and yawns and lies down for a doze. He can't hear the bells or the sweet singing choir. Or the voice saying, Here's a good stick for the fire. Stickman is lying asleep in the grate. Can anyone wake him before it's too late? He dreams of his kids and his stick lady love. Then suddenly wakes. What's that noise up above? It starts as a chuckle, then turns to a shout. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I'm stuck. Get me out. A stuck man? A stuck man. Now, who could that be? Don't worry, cries Stickman. I'll soon set you free. The highway rat was a baddie. The highway rat was a beast. He took what he wanted and ate what he took. His life was one long feast. His manners were rough and rude. Oh. <laughs> and the highway rat went riding, 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 riding along the highway and stealing the traveler's food.
the mouse through the deep, dark wood. A snake saw the mouse, and the mouse looked good. <laughs> Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come for a feast in my log pile house. Uh, it's wonderfully good of you, Snake. But no! I'm having a feast with a... Gruffalo. A Gruffalo? <laughs> What's a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo? Why didn't you know? His eyes are orange. His tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Purple prickles. Where are you meeting him? Here, by this lake. <gasps> and his favourite food is scrambled snake. Oh, scrambled snake. It's time I hid. Goodbye, little mouse. And away snake slid. Silly old snake, doesn't he know? There's, There's no, no such, such thing, thing as, as a gruffalo. Hmm. Gruffalo. Ruffalo, Ruffalo. Snake. <laughs> but who is this creature with terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. His eyes are orange, his tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Uh -huh. Now that you've been shown, you can practice on your own. <sighs> <laughs> and you'll all be expert flyers by the time you're fully grown. Zog went off to practice, flying fast and free. He soared and swooped and looped the loop, then crashed into a tree. Pearl!
Just then, a little girl came by. Oh, please don't cry. She said. Perhaps you'd like a Ooh, nice sticky plaster for your head. What's a good idea? said Zog. <laughs> then up and off he flew, his plaster gleaming pinkly as he zigzagged through the blue. <laughs> a year went by, and in year two, the dragons <laughs> learned to roar. And she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something. Everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. Threw them all in. And the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zackity, zoom! Then out rose a truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a shower for the frog. Yes! cried the witch, and they all clambered on. Broomstick. And whoosh! 